Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline. Um, I'm a first year law student at the University of Michigan and I make law school videos every week. Today I thought I'd give you a dorm room tour and show you what um, living on campus is like as a law student. I'll show you my room as well as some of the amenities that the res has. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. So this is the Laura's Club. On the left is the dining hall, which is super convenient. And then directly across from us is the Law School Library. It's the reading room, the really pretty one. Okay, so when you first come in, I can't open my door fully because I have these two things bought here. Um, in this box, I have my picnic blanket, which is what I use to sit on outside when I'm eating my friends. It's really a tablecloth from the dollar store, but I've been using it as a picnic blanket. And I have this carpet box, with, which I've been using as a shoe rack because I don't have an actual shoe rack and I don't want to buy an actual shoe rack when a carpet box works just fine. And so I have two closets. So in this closet, Hmm. All right, so it's kind of dark. There's no light here. That is the only light. All right, so in here I've got all of my outerwear. I've got an umbrella and then I have more shoes in here. But yeah, it's mostly empty because I wasn't able to bring the majority of my clothes here from Toronto. I had to fly and I just would not fit into my suitcase. Um, so it's a work in progress. And in here, I have more clothes. These are like my actual clothes. Once again, very empty. Um, I don't have any storage containers. I've cut a paper bag in half for my winter stuff. And then I'm just using plastic bags. It's because I have a bunch of storage containers um, at home in Toronto and I wasn't able to bring it because um, once again, I was flying and I, didn't, I just didn't think there was any point of buying it here. So that will have to do for now. Now onto the main part of the room. So this is the little kitchenette area. I do have a mini fridge, which come, which is mostly filled with drinks and white claw and oat milk. That's basically what it is. Um, I have some hard paper bags in here that I've stashed up in case I ever need bags. And then in here I have ice cream, ice, and then that's it. So I have a mini fridge in this little kitchenette area. I have hand sanitizer, of course, um, Lysol wipes, uh, more Lysol. I have a water filter and a kettle because I'm Asian and so I have to filter and boil all my water. I have a set of cutlery and bowls and plates because they don't feed us on Saturday. They feed us, the dining hall have, feeds us from Sunday to Friday. So this is when I'm making my own food. I have lots of PPE stuff um, and I have a bag of bags in case I ever need bags. Also, from what I understand, a very Asian thing to do, a bunch of coffee and tea lots of hand sanitizer. I have some wine bottles back there that I'm keeping because I want to put flowers in them. I do have a microwave. And then I have some food up here. I have some granola bars, oatmeal, cookies, dried mango. And then this is my study space. So we've got the two trash cans down here, um, some extra masks. Uh, I keep my purse and my bag here, Kleenex. I have a stash of snacks here and also a stash of cutlery from the dining hall. They give us a spoon, knife, and fork every time and I don't use it all, so that's what this is. Um, my accessories, sunglasses, <laughs> lashes, I have so many lashes. Um, lots of PPE stuff, so a bunch of disposable masks, um, some heavier duty masks, a face shield, wipes, all my vitamins are here more snacks up there. I love apple cider. So that's what this is. Muffins for breakfast as they don't feed us breakfast. Um, more snacks. This is such a funny story. Okay, let me sit down and tell you about this. So my Sifro prof gave this to me. Um, it's like a little Oscar. It has my name on it. <laughs> so what happened was like because um, of COVID, we have Sifro online. And so I think he was trying to really foster, I guess, community. So he asked a bunch of us who we thought had the worst job and people told stories and like people voted who they had the 
who they thought had the worst job and then he asked us who we thought had the best job and i put my job out there i thought being a background actor was pretty cool i didn't think it'd win but i thought it's like a cool story and i guess people thought my job was the best so and they voted being a background actor is the best job. Um, I do talk about being a background actor on my channel. If you want to check that out, there is a video. I'll put it somewhere. Um, but yeah, so because I won that as like my job won is the best job, he my prize was this little personalized Oscar. So does your super prof mail you an Oscar? I don't think so. Um, clearly, I picked the right school. Um, but yeah, so I think it's so cute and it's just like fully in my view when I'm studying as a little bit of motivation. So the Oscar stays here. I haven't named him yet. I've just been calling him Oscar, which I think is very basic, but I'm gonna come up with something else. Um, I have lots of snacks. I love snacking. Uh, I don't have a books, like a book stand guard thing. I don't know, I don't know what they're called. So I'm using this to keep my books up. I have sticky notes and highlighters, the essentials of a law student. All of my textbooks are here. These cost me so much money. I think a single, this was like $200. This was brand new. This is my charts textbook my contracts textbook, um, and oh, my CIPRO textbook is here. And then I have supplements for each one. This is like like basically the co contract law. This lists all the rules. This lists all the federal CIPRO rules. Um, a bunch of outlines, just all my textbooks. I have some extra water filters up here for my water filter. I have some notebooks, syllabus here. Now this is my main study area. So this is my lamp. I brought this from Toronto. It lights up, it has like a little thing on the bottom that like changes colors. I have this cup of fruit that I totally did not just put here to make myself look good. Uh, I do snack a lot when I study and I like to pretend that it's fruit most of the time, but it isn't. But I do try to eat some fruit. In my pencil case, I have lip balm because my lips are always dry. And then my laptop. And this is, oh, water bottle. This is like my saving grace. So when I first uh, was planning what to bring, a bunch, there was a group chat and a bunch of people were asking about book stands. And I was like, what is a book stand? Well, this is a book stand. I was like, there's no way I need one. I've been reading for four years. Like I don't need a book stand. So before I got the book stand, I was reading like this. So I would read and then I would look up and type my notes. But then my neck got super tired. So I was like, okay, this is not sustainable. And I got one of these and it makes my life so much easier. It props the book up and I no longer feel like I am dying. There's an action shot of what it looks like. So then now instead of going like that, I can go like that. So if you're a law student or if you're about to become a law student, I highly recommend getting a book stand. Let me see if I can get an action shot of me in here. And then over here I have my Swifter, my backpack, which I'm not using right now. I've just been using my lawn chair bag to bring all my stuff to class. I have one chair, I have an extra chair. I don't really use this. Sometimes I'll sit on it, but it's like not the right height. And this is one of the best parts of my room. I have basically floor to ceiling windows and I have a quad facing view. Um, our quad is like the place you wanna be on campus. Let me open this for you. Yep, super happy with the view. That's the library right there, the reading room. And it comes with um, shade, like blinds that basically block, all, block out all the light, which is a little bit dangerous in the mornings. Um, and then I don't have a laundry bag. I just have a laundry box. So this is all my dirty clothes. And then I have a, a giant box of boxes. I'm a really bad hoarder. I'm always like, oh, what if I need it? You know, like what if it comes in handy? And this is how it manifests. I have a box of boxes. I think what I'm planning to do is because um, I barely packed everything coming here and I've definitely bought more stuff upon arriving. So there's no way I'll be able to bring everything back with me back to Toronto when, this, when the year ends. So I thought, okay, I need some boxes that I can either put in storage here or I can ship back to Toronto. So that's why I tell myself I keep these boxes. Do I actually need all of it? No, but I just, I like to hoard. This is my favorite part of my room. Well, actually, okay, this is my favorite part of my room. This is my bed. And so I think this is like a larger bed than most undergrad dorms. So the bed is super nice. It's very high off the ground. So I have storage underneath where I just put all my suitcases. 
Um, but I also really like this. My room back in Toronto, I also had Christmas lights up. I think it's so cute. I have pictures with my friends, places I traveled. I wasn't able to bring all of my pictures, but I'll bring back next time, bring back more next time I come back. It just makes me happy. Up here, I have ramen, which is what college students love. I got my Polaroid camera. And then here I have just a bunch of skin hair stuff, face masks, sunscreen. Um, down here I have more drinks, my Swifter stuff. It's mostly empty, hand sanitizer. And here I have like nail stuff, and here's whatever. I really don't have that much stuff in my room. So this is the bulk of my room. I'll do the washroom next. So we're about to do the washroom. If I had one complaint about my room, it would be the washroom. It's just kind of small and I spent a lot of time in there like getting ready and stuff. And yeah, I just would hope it was bigger. I wouldn't mind giving up some of my room space for the washroom space, but it is what it is. This is the washroom. All right, so we've got the shower. It's like a corner shower, which is a little bit confusing to maneuver. We've got toilet, you bossing a toilet, some storage, my air freshener. Let me just look at the, f listen, listen to this. So when you come in the room, the washroom is on the right hand side. So down here, I've got some hair care stuff, makeup, toilet paper, more makeup, my stuff. It's a normal washroom. I don't know what else you guys expected. It's just a little bit on the side side. Of course, I have to have my lashes on this side. Um, I stare at myself quite a bit with that. Um, this wasn't here when I filmed this room tour earlier, but I just wanted to share the newest addition to my room. A little hook for all my face masks. Um, the other ones I have are hanging up because they're drying. But I feel like this is just so convenient with my disposable and my reusable face masks. This is my common room. We have to wear masks in all common spaces, um, but it's a great, great place to hang out when I'm tired of my room. I love studying this little study nook here. It has a great view of the quad and also just a super cozy place to do some readings. Okay, so there are three floors. Um, of rooms and then the fourth and fifth floor are just common rooms fun fact You have to put in a special code to go up to the fourth and fifth floor. So if I just press the fifth floor, it doesn't work This is the fourth floor common room. It also has a great view, but most importantly it has the printer But this is also a great place for people to study if they're tired of the rooms um, And you can see the law library directly across the quad This is the fifth floor. It has the communal kitchen, but because of COVID, I don't think anyone is using the kitchen. Um, and yeah, also some places to study. And also, huge fan of this view. Look at those fall colors. Alright, so that's my little room tour. I did not live on res in my undergrad, but I have been to my friend's res. And so to my understanding, these rooms are much larger than undergrad res rooms. Makes sense, we are in grad school. Um, the room has so much space. Like I cannot complain about the space in my room at all. I love it. Um, it's super convenient. The law school, as you can see, is directly across from me. The dining hall is convenient. Um, the food, you get tired of it sometimes, but it's art, like the food from what I understand is also much better than undergrad food, so I can't really complain. So that's what it's like to live at the Lawyers Club. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I have a vlog coming out next week.